Hello and welcome. We are happy that you've decided to join us to learn more about the university's move to Microsoft 365. So what is Microsoft 365? It is a subscription service that provides anywhere access without app installation for most applications. This means that most of the Microsoft apps you routinely use are available through both the web and desktop applications. And because the desktop and online versions sync, you can access the same content regardless of device. We've had the online version at WashU for a number of years, but our desktop apps were not able to take advantage of the enhanced features until now. Microsoft 365 also makes collaboration even easier. As for features, Microsoft 365 includes the usual Office apps, but because it is a subscription service, we will get feature updates soon after they happen so that you will always have the latest version. And we will have access to integrated services that help simplify your work. These are some of the recent updates. Dark mode is now available in both the desktop and online versions of Office apps. Data from a PDF can now be imported into an Excel spreadsheet. This, of course, saves time required to re-enter that data. Dictation was also recently added to both Word and PowerPoint apps. You can even upload an audio file and Word will transcribe it. There are several integrated services that are available because it is a subscription service. For example, instead of just using spell check on a Word document, you can now use Editor to also check your grammar and level of formality. In Excel, the Analyze Data feature was added as an integrated service. This option offers suggestions for pivot tables and other visualizations of your spreadsheet data. The new designer in PowerPoint saves time by making suggestions for a clean, attractive presentation with graphics. In addition to all of these integrated services, users will have access to more fonts, templates, and royalty-free images, icons, and stock videos. Office.com has existed before, but with seamless integration between desktop and online applications, it could make your workflow more efficient. Just visit office.com and sign in here. This will take you to your personalized home screen. Let's take a quick tour. The recommended section at the top uses AI to suggest recent items, upcoming meetings, and other items that may be of interest. Below this is your quick access pane. This contains all your most recent files. It is important to note that selecting the home icon will always bring you back to this home screen. You can create a new file from this icon across all Office apps, including access to templates. The My Content folder contains filterable content. You can filter by Shared With Me, Favorites, People, Meetings, Location of Files, and more. This is one of my favorite features because I can find all the files another user has emailed or sent through Teams without having to scan my emails or my Teams chats. You can find the links to open most commonly used apps in the left pane menu. In addition, the Waffle menu on the top left corner serves as an app launcher for all available Microsoft applications. You can also adjust your settings using this icon to access dark mode, themes, and more. Using dark mode not only reduces eye strain, but also extends the life of your device's battery. There are two more things I'd like to draw your attention to. You can change your view in the quick access pane to tiles or lists based on your preference. You can also filter these by recently open, shared, or favorites. Now I'd like to show you some of the new features for Microsoft 365 within specific apps. First, the toolbar in multiple apps can now be docked to give you more space for your document. To restore to the full menu, select any menu item and move to the right side to select the push pin. This is the same location of the icon to dock your toolbar again. You can change your file name and location by simply selecting the file name and editing. You can access royalty-free images, icons, and other illustrations through the Insert Pictures menu. Select Stock Photos and then choose a category. Enter search terms to narrow your search for the perfect image. You can app mention a team member to get feedback or establish a to-do list. Once the comment is posted, the tagged coworker will receive an email to follow up. This feature exists in Outlook, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. The Help menu feature leads you to several support options. 
The help option leads to a searchable menu of items for self-service. The show training option provides you with a list of user guides with short videos so that you can access training where you need it, right in the app. Also, selecting what's new will list the newest features and updates for that application. Let's take a look at some of the features in Outlook. You can now use message reactions to respond to an email from a colleague in Outlook Online. Just hover over the smiley face emoji to access six message reactions. If you've opted to use dark mode in either Outlook Online or desktop, you can now quickly and easily switch to light mode for a single mail message by selecting the sun icon in the top right corner of the mail message, and then switch back using the moon icon. Board view is now available in Outlook Online. It can serve as a dashboard to help organize your day. To access board view, select view from the top menu, then select board. You can configure the board using the menu items above. Loop components are a great way to collaborate in real time through an email in Outlook Online or in Teams. Begin a new email and then select Insert from the menu above. Next, choose which kind of loop component you'd like to collaborate with. You can collaborate with a coworker or a team on a to-do list, a paragraph, or an other item in real time without opening another application. Scheduling polls are available in the online version of Outlook. You can send scheduling polls to a group of colleagues to allow them to vote on meeting times. First, begin a new mail message and add your recipients. Then select Insert and select Scheduling Poll. A menu of times will appear on the right pane menu, showing the best times by your team's availability. Select the times you'd prefer and then select Next. The Scheduling Poll will be embedded in the email and the recipients can then vote on their preferred meeting time. Calendar filtering is also available in the online version of Outlook. You can filter to see just the meetings you've created, recurring meetings, cancel meetings or drafts, you can also filter by show as to see appointments that are listed as busy, free, or tentative. There are other filtering options as well. The bookings page is another feature available only in Outlook Online. In the calendar, select Go to My Bookings page from the left pane menu. Then select the plus sign on the top right of the public or private sections to create recurring availability for office hours, conferencing, interviews, or other appointments. Then copy the link and share it through email or add it to your email signature. Let's now take a look at some of the features in Microsoft Word. Editor is a new integrated feature in Microsoft Word. You can find Editor on the home screen. Once you select the icon, this right pane will appear with an Editor score. These scores may change based on what level of formality you select below. All of the suggested edits appear below the score, and the score will adjust as you make changes. Of course, these are all just suggestions based on AI. You are ultimately the author of your documents. Dark mode can also be turned on for the whole app to reduce eye strain and improve battery life. Just go to File, then Options, and change the theme to black. You can easily turn on the light mode for a single document by selecting View and then Switch Modes. Select the Share icon on the top right side of your screen to share a document with a team member. The drop-down menu allows you to select Share to identify specific team members who should access this file. You can then work together in the document in real time, whether on desktop or online. You can select Copy Link to share the link to this document with a team member through an email, Teams, or any other method. Lastly, you can select Manage Access to control who has access and what kind of access you give to them. Dictate is a new feature in Microsoft Word and PowerPoint. You can choose Dictate from the Home menu and begin speaking. Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint will begin to type out your words and add appropriate punctuation using AI. You can select the Settings icon to change the language, enable a different microphone, or turn off auto punctuation. Select the Help icon to learn more about the Dictate feature, including punctuation and editing rules. Designer is an integrated service in PowerPoint. This feature uses AI to make suggestions for formatting your slides. The example on this slide shows suggestions based on the term support that appears in my slide. 
If you're not sure where to begin with your presentation, you can use a free template or Quick Starter as a guide. Select Quick Starter, enter a subject, choose the slides you want to include in your presentation, and then select a theme. All of this can be edited later if you change your mind. You'll still be the one to do the research, but Quick Starter will save you time by providing you with a template and instructions to populate your slides. Another integrated service in PowerPoint is Rehearsal Coach. It uses AI to monitor your pacing, use of filler words, and even inclusive language. Just select the slideshow menu and then Rehearse with Coach. When you exit, you will receive a report for your rehearsal, complete with charts and graphs to see your data at a glance. Let's move on to Excel. You can now import data from a PDF into your Excel file. Select the Data menu and then Get Data. Then select From File and PDF. Then search your files for the correct PDF. Select the table you wish to import and select Load to import the data. You will likely need to reformat your data a little bit, but this still saves so much time for re-entering data. Analyze Data is an integrated service that uses AI to recommend visualizations for your data in Excel. Select the Analyze Data option from the Home menu, then use the right pane menu to determine what you'd like to analyze and which visualization is right for you. Once you find what you need, select the Insert button on that item in the right pane menu to include it in your Excel spreadsheet. Let's move on to Collaboration. Collaboration is easier than ever before with Microsoft 365. You can share a document with a team member and work together in real time, whether you're on the desktop or the web application. You can at mention a team member for feedback and follow up as well, and they'll receive an email notification. If your team uses Box, you can enable co-authoring for Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. To enable Box co-authoring, open any file in your desktop version of Microsoft Word. Select File, Open, and add a location. Choose Box and log in using your Woostle key and Duo 2FA. Now you'll be able to co-author with any document saved in Box, as long as all users involved have Microsoft 365 installed and have enabled this feature. As you can see, Microsoft 365 offers more up-to-date features, collaboration, and integrated services to make your workday more efficient.